Hello and good evening, everyone. Welcome once again to Monday Night Twitch. We are back again. I'm glad to be back. I'm your host, Mike, the Wandering Tuke. Joining me this evening is my friend and co-host, Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Hi. How are you doing Hi. tonight? Hi. Great. Great. Great to be back. And we are joined by a friend. Uh, I love friends. The one and only Salted Pork. Hello, Bob. Slated Proc here, yes. Slated Proc. Good evening. I'm very happy to oh, be here. Oh, my gosh. Um... Yeah, I, I just saw you about a week ago. Got any um, got any tales from the indeed. con? We got to see each other. <laughs> you, uh, when we saw each other before the con began, you greeted me with a smile and a very large hug. Yes, I did. And and the only thing you the only thing you left out was uh, a knife in my back. <laughs> Because as the con dragged on, I started having Moomox get dropped in my play area from random players throughout the hall. <laughs> saying, are you salted pork? I think this belongs in your engaged with you. Yes. So uh, for those who, who weren't all in on it, uh, I kept this fairly quiet. <laughs> but um, I, I printed out originally eight copies of a custom card of this Moomox kind of on its hind legs. Picture from the movies. It's uh, called Surprise Moomox. Had an engagement cost of one. I threat and uh, it had all the worst properties of every Moomok. It had the worst threat, the it worst really attack, did. the archery two, the damage choke. With the special when revealed effect, it engages salted pork no matter where he is in the hall. So And it did. It did. It, it absolutely did. So two days before the con, I'm like, is eight enough? So I printed out a few more. <laughs> and uh, I held it together. I was gonna I was going to kind of leave it for a day or two before you figured it out, but uh, I think your Logically, play makes... I initially, I immediately went and asked you. Oh, yeah. Is this you? And you're like, well, no. And I believed you like a fool. Wow. It was that, that too, Brute. Oh, yeah. Like, you did that? I have a couple pictures of him uh, wandering around the, the space, talking to people, asking if it's them. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I think... That's so mean. I think your playmates wonderful. probably caught me signaling or something because at some point, like halfway through the day, you turned at me and you said, it was you, wasn't it? And I just, it was either break down and lie or just like, hi, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then, it just, it had to be, like, I, I asked every single person that I knew who knew about it or may have conceivably watched the Twitch <laughs> and was there. It was so good. So okay. It was either a lone wolf or it had to be you. So here's the funny thing and about that. it was that. glorious. It was really, really fun. Oh, yeah, the it beginning. It made for a really fun... What's that? Yeah, sorry. Continue. Continue. Yeah, it, it, it made for a really... Like, the con is already fantastic for a, a litany of reasons. And mm. it made it so fun to just... You'd be feeling great, and then a Moomak would get dropped in your play area, <laughs> and then a second. <laughs> and sometimes it happened while we were setting up the game. It altered a deck I was playing one game. Wow. We were starting our setup. It got dropped in my play area, and I changed decks. And and everyone who I played <laughs> with was pretty cool. Was 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 really kind about it. They're like, yeah, we'll play with it. And there was, I think, one or two times that we just didn't because I didn't want it to ruin the game for people. But I, by and large, it was a lot of fun. We started a Moomak kill counter on the uh, on the con board that was up on the wall, and that thoroughly confused people. Because <laughs> there were no Moomox and Bree, except there were. Yep. And then you kept asking for more, so I kept seeding them in, and I wish I'd printed double. <laughs> I don't I don't know if that was my exact <laughs> verbiage. I think I said, would you like to put them back in circulation, not more daddy? Like, <laughs> feed me. Okay, so here's the really funny part. How many Moomox do you and currently have? My wife giving me a... Uh, how many do you currently have in your possession? I have not unpacked yet from the con. Okay. I think I have around three or... Uh, I have... No, I, I killed four. So okay. I have four in my possession. You have four. I gave one to Peace and Thought because he wanted one just for posterity. I wanted one in the guest book and they didn't have tape, so I just kind of threw it in there. So it's going to surprise the next person that opens it. That means that there are six Moomox in the wild. So conceivably, at next year's con, they might still be going. I which I love. I, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready for it this time. I think that's my favorite part have, about I'm all have, this. Uh, I'm going to have the, uh, what's the card? Revealed in Wrath. I'm going to have that ready to go. Oh, yeah. 
I can blank that stupid Moomock and kill it. And I'm not going to bring any. I'm not going to bring any next year, just because I don't want to... I want to see if this experiment it. holds. No, no, I, I want... If I bring something, it's going to be something different. <laughs> I, I, I tried to get you. I, I put my name tag around you, and then I dropped one in your play area at the end, but you had already finished. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the one I think I put in the guest book. Oh, too funny. Too funny. All right. Anyway, so that, that was the con. It was a wonderful con. And uh, we're already thinking about next year. Um. Yeah, yeah, it really was. It's a fantastic time. For those of you listening who can't, maybe haven't gone, it's it's just it's a wonderful time. It, as I've, I, I'll, I'll tell anybody who listens, it. I love playing the Lord of the Rings, a card game. As I've told people, I would trade every board game we have in our home if I had to pick between Lord of the Rings and that game. I, I enjoy this game a ton. This con has become about so much more than that. It becomes about getting to see and hang out and laugh with friends that you see only once, you know, maybe twice a year. Yeah, and that's fantastic. So. Yeah, and just for stupid stuff like this, that's what makes it. Yeah. All right, but we're not here to talk about Mumox. Yeah. Well, yes, yes, we are. <laughs> this this thing, this thing is easy compared to what we were facing. This guy was this guy was a ponce compared to yeah what the, what you had me with. All right, so uh, we are playing Trouble in Tharbad. We are continuing our Ringmaker cycle with achievements. So there are two achievements we can go for here, and I think one of them we have to choose right off the bat. And this is that every enemy attack reduces your threat elimination level by one, which means we each have to have our own counter for threat elimination. Okay. The second one is is that the printed quest points of the crossing at Tharbad should be 10 per player instead of, I believe, 5 per player. Uh, no, holy crap. It is... It is way more. Yep, it, is, it goes from 16 to 30. Which I think is fine. I think we can probably do that. Okay. And... Yeah, this is it. So, this is our, our quest. First one with our favorite friend, Steve. I mean, Nellier. Wow. <laughs> so cold. And uh, we're going to get... We're gonna get Bob to to read double dealings. Yes, your meeting with Nalir is interrupted by a host of orcs led by a man, Alok, who has made his way from Egypt all the way over Tharbad. In the ensuing chaos, <laughs> you manage to escape with the dwarf, but the orcs pursue. Outnumbered, you must throw the orcs off your trail if you hope to. Okay, so we start Other with Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones reference for those of you who uh, may be thoroughly confused. Alok is the bad guy from Raiders of the Lost Ark. The, the best one, I must say. Oh, yeah. Very charming. Yeah. So we start with three spies from Mordor in play. Whenever they attack, they remove a time counter from the current quest. Sure. Hey. The empty mug. Players cannot reduce their threat. While the empty mug is in the victory display, the current quest gains... Wait, why, why did I bring a, a deck that has threat reduction in it? <laughs> Forced after a player card re effect reduces a player's threat and removed from the game. Okay, that's fine. We wow. can do that. Yeah. We can do that. Because it's not on any heroes. <clears throat> and that's it. We just flip to side 1B, right? Yeah, I'll do it. There it is. More story for Bob. All right. Time for. Forced, after the last time counter is removed from this quest, reduce each player's threat elimination level by 10 for the remainder of the game, then place four time counters on the stage. Yikes. After one or more progress is placed on this quest, cancel all progress and reduce each player's threat by an equal amount. When all players have zero threat, immediately proceed to stage two. Okay, so I'm putting a, a 50 time counter on Pippin. That's my threat elimination level. Oh, I'll do that with Bomber. No, I'll do that with the Grey Wanderer. After, yeah. Okay, so we advance and we have zero threat each. Okay. Can we shift in? We can shift in, absolutely. And maybe I can even draw cards. <clears throat> Did I it not even register? There we go. And I will draw this for Pippin. Not Pippin, from Bilbo, because I have that Bilbo. 
All right, I'm going to start by drawing two cards and <coughs> discarding a card. I don't think this one has condition attachments in it. So let's get rid of you. All right, we are going to start by putting a pipe on Fatty, which gives him a hit point. And that lets me search the top five cards in my deck for an event. Mike, is there anything you'd like to say about your deck? Because we didn't introduce oh, our decks. Oh, yeah, we didn't. What does your deck do? That's a good question. Does from exist? Um, I don't actually remember. This is called Thank the you. bestest of Hobbitses because people were, were hating, hating on my boys. And it's got a bunch of threat reduction and hobbity stuff. It's got lots of pipes. And beyond that, I don't know. So I'm just gonna throw <laughs> throw this on Pippin because I think that's or on Bilbo. I think that's where it goes. I think the idea behind this is that it's supposed to do threat reduction, and also have enough shenanigans to up your willpower and defense. Gotcha. Because I think I I think I defend with Fatty, yeah. Because then Protector of Lorien can boost that up. So there's enough card draw with the lore that I should be able to do this. Gotcha. And that is me. Where? All right. Uh, Mike uh, said this week to bring power decks, or that's what I thought he said. Yeah, um, I don't so know I brought my most powerful deck, which is Bomber Wanders. Um, this thing never, never ceases to impress in one way or another. Um, I'm going to raise my threat by one and give myself $2 to spend all of them to play the Erebor Toymaker. He will reduce Steward of Gondor. Wait, you're then, telling me that they are rot they stealth eroded reforged, but not the Toymaker? Yeah, wait a minute. He can he can play a he can play a title attachment for two. <laughs> Apparently he can. Wow. I don't see the problem um, <clears throat> at all. To be honest, I uh, will then spend a dollar just to get Legacy of Durin there. Um, does anyone plan on having an extra leadership dollar? Oh no, you guys don't have it. <laughs> an extra so, leadership dollar, Mister Steward of Gondor. Come on. <laughs> I will uh, play a Record Keeper and draw a card for Legacy of Durin. You know that when we punt Nalir over to you, you're going to have five dwarves. I can't wait. All right. Yep, yep. So, Bomber, yeah, that needs no more introduction. What are you bringing, Bob? Uh, <laughs> I, you told us to bring, you told us there would be some chicanery happening. Uh, and so, and then you said there wouldn't be Mumax, and so I naturally didn't believe you. So I brought, <laughs> I brought a deck that. In theory, I didn't pull the cards to do it yet. Could kill a surprise Mumac if it ended up in front of me. So it's it's a it's Noldor and Aragorn, and it so the idea is that you can use a combination of Lords of the Eldar, Tale of Tenuviel, and Revealed in Wrath to uh. kill a Mumac in one turn. Mike, See? yeah. How have I never noticed before the? belt of the spy from Mordor and what it suggests. Oh. Right? Is it just me? Am I just... Okay. Mordor's a weird place. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tuke <took> after hours. <laughs> okay. Well, Family okay. show, Bob. Family show. So about, back to the Mumox. Um, <laughs> it's no fun when you expect the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> yes, and as as everybody knows, nobody used to expect the Spanish Inquisition. So. That's right. But then, to quote, to quote, Princess Bride, because <laughs> we're not expecting it, now we are expecting it, because then that's the perfect time to expect it. Yep. Well, this is getting dizzying. All right, I think okay, we are so I we're ready to go. I am going to play... I'm going to play... On sail away. For one, I'm gonna pitch. 
I'm gonna pitch a Mythlon Sea Watcher from my hand to get Varwin a dollar. And I'm do a silver harp on Kyrden for two. And then I will get a chump in there. And I have to discard two cards from my hand, of which I will use the silver harp to keep one, and I will I'll ditch an honor guard. Who needs an honor and that's guard? My right? turn. Who needs an honor guard? Alright. I sure hope not. Uh let's see. <clears throat> I think Shall we quest? I think we just quest now. Alright. Do you remind Remind me one more time what the uh, what the challenges are. It's if we get attacked, our threat elimination goes down by one. Correct? That's correct. Every single attack reduces your threat elimination level, and then the crossings at Tharbad is just harder to complete. Okay. Okay. Perfect. We are up by seven by eight. Thank you, Bomber. All right. Sure, you're welcome. Uh, Mike, you have a little bit of cornered. You either remove a time counter or each enemy gets minus 20 engagement and plus one attack. Whew. Yeah. I think we can successfully reduce a time counter. Okay, okay. All right. I will have myself an orc skirmisher. Okay. okay. Surprising amount of mercy on that last one. Thank you. And Bob, <laughs> you've got some runes of the second age. While it's in the staging area, city locations get plus one threat. I imagine that includes itself. You forget, Bob, that I would have taken two of them. <laughs> All right. Oh, really? Whoa. Yeah, they would have been at twenty engagement. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's minus twenty. Okay. So it's it's like. Uh... Oh wait, I we could after we progress through here. Oh, we're not progressing. Okay, I can't reduce my threat. <laughs> Um, no one has a shenanigan for one more? Uh, no, because I put Protector Vlorian on the wrong person. Whee! Yeah. So we're not out of the empty mug yet. Uh, you know what? I do have shenanigans. I absolutely have shenanigans. Okay, shenanigan up. Uh, I'm going to raise my threat by three to reduce this guy by three. The skirmisher? We actually make six. I don't think I've ever actually seen his effect used in the wild. Oh, it's... Oh. Right. Two on the main? He effectively just quested for three. Yeah, okay, that's an action. Can display? Yeah. Uh, and we all reduce our threat by two. He's not as bad as people say. That seems to be good. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, reduce your threat by two if you haven't yet. Oh, that's huge. It is. Okay, so how do we want to do this? Well, Mike, would you like to travel to the ruins? I probably do. Okay. That's a pretty gross location. Yeah, it's not great. Um... And so everything's getting an additional shadow card. If you decide you're going to fight... Let's see. I am not going to engage anything. Do you have defense plans normally? Me? Yeah. Theoretically, yeah. Okay. Got some guys in here. All right. I've got. Once I get my armor, I have Sentinel. So. I have no reason to tank hits and watch my threat go down, especially when they're that dangerous. Okay. Yeah. So I think I am good for now. I think we just ready up. Well, end of refresh phase, Nalir gives you three threat, Mike. Oh my god, it's for each player in the game. Yuck. <laughs> then he comes to me, and I have five dwarves. It couldn't be better. Disgusting. Okay. I'm going to have to refresh my screen. There's my cards. <clears throat> uh, Daniel, draw an extra card. Really? Bilbo. I love Bilbo. All right. Um, I'll drop a little steward here and spend $3 on Biffer. Who's going to draw me two cards? Lovely. 
There we go. Okay. <laughs> do you hear the one in the back? Sure do. Um, I'm going to play this. Um, let's see what I find. Okay. Hey. That counts, right? What did you just do? I played well-equipped and got resourceful on me. Uh, yep, that works. All right. Wow. Uh, per round, resource plus one. But you lost a key. Even... I did. I did. What happened in the kitchen? If someone were to spill the whole ton of flour, would vacuuming it be a bad idea? Yes. Ah. Let's sweep it, please. Thank you. Water on good. it. Makes it easier to clean up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't use water. Use water and oh, then vacuum gonna... it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> wow. All right. Oh, by the way, I uh, I ticked the time counter down by one. We should be at two. Should be at two. Thank you. All right. That's me done. Okay. I going to. Play a Mithlon Sea Watcher for. Lovely. Mm, or one. I'm gonna do it for two. Then I'm gonna play Sailor of Moon for two. I'm not gonna use. Come sail away. Or to the sea, to the sea. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of in a spot putting the wrong attachments on people and stuff because I have old Toby to help me draw cards. I need pipes, and I only have one pipe. I don't like that. So I think instead I just do this. Let's put a protective luring on Bilbo. And hope I don't need to use any of these events. Uh, I'm good. We can do this now. You know what? No, no. We're going to pop this into play because we need some willpower. We have a Westworld Traveler now. And here we go for questing. Now Lear can't even quest. Nope. What a loser. All right, we're making eight. Is that what we got? We're making eight for now. Okay, I will get a card called the Orc Hunter. Either reveal additional counter or... Mm. What do you all think? Mm. I feel like we're probably not going to get the time counter off anyway. I'm okay with the time counter. I feel like okay. the card we draw is going to say remove a time counter. Well, here we go. Hidden alleyway. Raise your player start by X to travel. Yeesh. X is pretty high right now. And Mike, you've got to get that dwarf. The enemy in the staging area with the highest attack attacks the first player and makes a immediate attack against it in the Lear. If there are no enemies in the staging area, get that dwarf gain surge. Okay, so the the orc skirmisher is attacking you. Okay. And he's he gets going two to shadows. He gets two shadows because of runes of the second age. Yeah, so you can you can defend Nilir by exhausting Bomber, but undefended well, attacks. He, he only gets one. He only gets one. No. Doesn't he get two because of ruins of the second age? He gets it during the at the beginning of the combat. Oh, phase. you're right. Okay, hold on a sec. Don't know what it is, so there it is. So right. underdefended attacks uh, target Nalir. So, all right. Um, so immediately from being attacked, my threat goes up. Uh, no, no, no. Your threat does not go up. Your threat elimination level goes down by one. Got it. Okay. It's worse. It is a little worse, isn't it? Love All right, uh, I will defend this. He's hitting for four. Really? Yep. Okay. So he hits me for two damage. All right. And then everyone reduces their threat elimination level by 10. That seems excessive. And that is staging. All right, we won by three. Uh, all right, I'm going to do the same trick again. Okay, so that gets us one, two, three. So we can all reduce our threat by one. Thank 
Thank you. Um, I will do that. Raise my threat by one to get two dollars and heal three. Just in case. All right. Yeah. Do you want to travel? Travel. Um, I think we're not going to travel because then you guys are taking enemies, right? Oh, are we? Oh, we're up by five, hey? Yeah. So I would be travel, 30... That would go up by five. Our threat would go up by five. So Bob would be at 36 and you would be at 34. Or 35, rather. Bob, oh, 34. Bob, are you thinking of taking an enemy? I'm going to take one and I'll be able to pull another one uh, out of the staging area. Then it sounds like this is a good time to good meal and proc Galadrim's greeting and everyone reduces their threat by two. If we do that and then reduce our threat by five, I believe that puts only Bob in range of Orc Skirmisher. Yeah. That is right. Okay. And just shy of Orc Hunter. That's right. Oh, and this gets removed from the game, right. so I'm putting it here. All right, so we're traveling to Hidden Alleyway and going up by five, right? That's right, up by five. Okay. And we get to add a time to the current quest. So we are at five. Ooh. Bob, you should be at 34 threat now, right? Uh, yes, yes. Why did we add a time? Because we traveled to this hidden alleyway. Oh. Dude, I didn't read the bottom of the card. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it is. All right. Combat. Bob, you said you were taking the skirmisher, yeah? Uh, yes. He immediately gets the shadow card. No, he doesn't. That will be his shadow card, though. You need to deal right. three damage or remove a time count. Indeed. Choose wisely. I'll... Damage. All right. Okay. Now that you've chosen fight? damage, I'm going to pitch a Warden of Healing to myself to raise my willpower by one for no reason. <laughs> Just joking. I see where this is going. That's not the Mumak you were looking for. All right. All right, Bob, how are you defending this one? Hmm. So... I don't I'm quite verbally, have Sentinel yet. I will next turn. I'm verbally processing here a bit. What I'm considering doing... So I... I, I have Tale of Tuduvial in my hand, but I don't know if I'll be able to use it at the moment. But I was going to chump with the Elven Jeweler, and then Sea Watcher and Aragorn swing to kill the Skirmisher, because Aragorn's not pumped up enough yet. But then I won't have anyone to... And I'll just pull another enemy. Um, so okay. I just can't kill it yet. It's annoying. So hmm. I'll just, yeah, I'll defend with the Elven Jeweler. Okay. No shy. And swing, swing. Dead. Your threat elimination level is now 39. It is. How is he dead? Uh, the Mythlon Thief uh, Watcher is a three attack. Watcher. Because oh yes. All right, and who are you pulling over? Feel like mm. I'd like to pull the hunter because if I can kill the hunter without pulling a spy from Mordor, and then I can kill the spy from Mordor next turn, I'll be able to kill it without its forest going off. Nice. Very nice. Shift in? Shift no, in. No, Nalir raises me by three. Yep. Goes to Bob. I am dropping a time counter from the main quest. Bob, when you shift in, you should also draw yourself a brand new card because Bilbo is your friend today. I first do Gear Dan stuff and draw. Alrighty. Okay. I am going to pitch Elven Light dollar and then I'm going to draw it back to my hand to draw another card and I'm 
do I want to do? I'm going to use to the C to the C. I'm going to pitch Elven Light, Honor Guard, Sailor of Loon, plus two dollars, and I'll play from my discard pile, Glorfindel. Nice. And then I'm also going to keep the Honor Guard with Silver Harp. Hooray! I am not doing anything, because this deck is awesome. Brilliant. You're done? I'm done. Alright, my first non-unique card will be a nice piece of armor. So I am now Sentinel. You could put that on anybody. You could make Biff or Sentinel. I could. I could. That is absolutely true. Uh, I will then... I'll trigger a steward. I think I need more money. You could put make Nalir Sentinel. <laughs> um, I will play a Dwarven Sellsword. And I will do Legacy of Durin. Ooh, a good harvest. I'm actually going to play that. Do we need to gear up for violence yet, or should we try to get out of here? Um... Violence is always a thing to gear up for in this quest. If you can get rid of those spies, that makes our, the rest of it really easy. Okay, because I have a veteran Axan that can be played. Mm. And still keep me money to leave the, the sellsword around. Oh, name dwarves should go up top. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to spend a good harvest to spend $2 to get the Axan in. And what does he max out at? Plus four, right? No, you're thinking of the wrong card. Veteran Axan is just a flat out two. Oh, he's just two. Who am I thinking of? Because he's thinking, in the deck too. You're thinking of the Battlemaster. Oh, yes, yes. The Airborne Battlemaster. Right. All right. Well, I will keep this guy out. That's All right. me. All right. We are questing once again. And remember, Bob, I can defend that guy for you. Thank you. That will be very, very helpful. Actually, instead of the axe hand and the good harvest, I'm going to save a dollar and play a second sellsword in quest of him. Ah, okay. <clears throat> 17. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, Bob, your card. Are we all ready? Yeah. I'm okay. down to me. <laughs> Bob, another one of those. Reveal additional uh, encounter or move the time. Uh, this, Actually, is, we, this is why we, we use the party prep in the off season, time. boys. Yeah. We, owe, we owe a time. Yeah, we added one prior. Um, Daniel, that yeah, they already uh, no. checked appropriately. Yeah, cause, no, because we were at five. Yeah. And I don't think we well, were. Well, I thought we took our time down before. last time. Be oh, you took the damage. You're right. I took the damage. All this, right. is, this is why we prep in the off season, and we're going to remove the time counter. Because this is where we gain some ground. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mike, you've got yourself a little conspicuous lot. Each player is hurt by one for each ally. Oh. That's really good yeah. right now. That's really good. How funny is that? I'm at 20 exactly. So it does not surge. Actually, it does. 20 or less. Oh my goodness. So I just yeah. just missed it. So that surges into Streets of Tharbad. It wasn't that Mike's card though? Did I? Yeah. No, mine was that the was... Orc Hunter. No, oh, yeah, sorry, that one. Yeah, that was, was Mike. yeah, that was Mike's. Oh, that was... Yeah. So then it wouldn't surge, right? No, it's it's any player's threat is 20 or less. Oh, any player. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Sorry. Let's surge in the streets, and then my card is this one again. Sweet. At least it doesn't surge. Oof. <laughs> surge in the streets and a boon in the sheets, man. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> we made one, two, three. I'm sorry. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
So um, we will reduce our threat stop, by seven. Stop. I'm going to reduce this this threat by two. Okay. So add two to that. It basically. Yeah. So we reduce so our we, threats we, by we, twelve. Twelve. Okay. I think by nine, Mike. We made fourteen, and five had to go on to hidden alleyway. Oh, I see. So reduce by nine. All right. What do you need, sweetie? Can you please make it so I can just... Well, I have no idea what to do with math. Oh, that is an awful... Unless you know how to do a quadratic... Somebody say quadratic equation? Yeah, do you know how to do quadratic formulas, Bob, in like one minute? Uh, hold on. I learned this in seventh grade. I learned well, a I rhyme. I'm going to pull, pull <laughs> out of my brain. All right. Hold on, guys. Let me... Plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Wow. Straight out of seventh grade. Yep. I have to memorize that. There, Bob did it. You got it. It's it's x is equal to opposite b plus or minus the square <laughs> root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. It's a tragedy yeah. that there's so many people in the greater <laughs> North America that know that song. Oh, man. <laughs> and they can't they don't came out. and they don't know statistics to save their lives All right, uh, give me one second uh, well, Bob um, might be a sleeper agent for some like other country I don't know like that just came out uh, that, was, that was something uh, do we care about I also love statistics by the way I, I love statistics I mean that's I think it's better than normal math absolutely is Uh, are you thinking Streets of Tharbad, or are you thinking leave all those enemies up there? I, because... They would all come yeah, down. we would be in trouble. Yeah. So I, I would not like to go to the Streets of... We're questing okay. I, I would yeah. like to not go to the Streets of Tharbad. Good decision. <clears throat> Alright, well, do whatever you need to do to make things happen. I need to make things right. happen. I will tip that, raise my threat by one, there, and get two more dollars. You choose two. Wait. Yeah, I'm not going to do it yet. Yeah, why don't you re exhaust first? I'm going to wait until I'm defending Bob. Because you guys could, you Ooh. could take, I guess it all depends on how many Bob can kill. Yeah. Um. But I can ready Bomber and take two defense. All right, is anybody taking any enemies? I... I probably could. I just don't want to take the time out away. Uh, did she say yes? So I, I'm, I'm just thinking through my, my attacks here. It, so you would have one defense, Daniel, or two? He two defense. Two. two sentinel defenses. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think how do we maximize not getting a time counter removed. So I can defend with Nalier if we want to risk it for the biscuit, but I don't think we have any healing on the table. Not yet. I mean, I could, but I'm probably prioritizing card draw first. Yeah. Uh, so we wouldn't want to defend with, with Nalier. If I take... One orc hunter, I can swing and kill with Aragorn if it's defended. I can pull the other orc hunter and swing and kill it with a sea watcher and either sailor or or Nalir. Um, the alternative is I can't. Oh no, I can I can kill a spy from Mordor. Never mind. Uh, so we'll kill the orc hunter and I can pull a spy from Mordor and kill it if you defend both attacks, Daniel. You absolutely will. Okay. So are you? So you want to pull? In well, actually, we actually we don't need one, to, we don't give need me one second. Anybody. I'm sorry. Give me one second. We don't need to take anybody. Okay. We could just leave. That'll I think be our most optimal, and we can do that. Assuming there's no horrible enemies, we can do that the next two rounds. All right. Then I can take the other orc hunter. We can defend it, and then I can pull a spy from Mordor and kill it. Sounds good. All right. Daniel's going to defend. Because he said he would. And he's going to flip this over. And it is a nothing. So Bomber gets hit for nothing. Nothing. Armor so, of Erebor. 
So you need to tick your elimination level down by one. He's too big, too strong, too fast, too good. Yep. All right. Dead. Sorry about that. What did I miss? Uh, you just defended oh. for him. How did I do? Great. Did you not pull down another one? Did we not pull down a... We did not. So I so I, I talked it through. I'll pull down this guy. I can kill him. And then next turn, when I take the orc hunter, I'll, en I'll optionally engage the orc hunter. And then when we kill it, we do the same thing. I'll pull another spy from Mordor and kill it. Because yeah. I can kill this guy right now. All right, so do Aragorn it. Aragorn gives him minus one, plus one, two, three, four, five. Five from Mordor is dead. He did. Love it. That way we avoid the time counter from him. All right. Love it. Do you want to pull the hunter now or no? I didn't attack with Aragorn twice, so. All right. I can only so I can only pull. I will ready that to add money. Take a thing. All right. Uh, Baugh raises his threat by an additional three. I get Nalir. Oh, I owe two dollars to keep my cell swords. Holy! Oh, there's a pipe. Finally, 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 finally. Okay. Uh, I have to discard a card, and I don't like having to do that. I think I'll have to be glad I'm screening for now. We are going to stick a pipe on Bilbo. Do we? Wish I had another good meal. There could be some good things happening now. Yeah. Okay. I am My going. Is not very good. I'm going to do this. We're going to pull out a healer, and we're going to pull out Derefin. Oh, nice plays. And that's me. That's you. I think that was good stuff. Um, I will spend two to put Armor of Erebor on this sellsword, thereby he's signing a contract with me for a very long time. Um, and this axe hand will come out after playing Good Harvest. So you paid for your sellswords? I did. Okay. Yep. All right, that's me. All right, I am going to... I have an Elven Light in my discard. I'm going to pull it to my hand to draw a card and pitch it again for a resource. Elrond's Council, I'm going to use it, and it leaves the game, correct? Yes. Have you been just putting it to the victory display or just deleting it? Uh, ooh, we could throw it the victory. Yeah, let's do that. Because I don't think anyone's has victory shenanigans. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it during the uh, the quest phase. All right. Then. And I'm going to. I have an elven mail, and I'd normally put it on the guardian of Rivendell, but I haven't been seeing him yet. Hmm. I was considering putting it on Glorfindel. You do have. I'm hold it. You do have Elven Light in your discard. I do. I guess I could pull it again. I um, sorry. I, I said that because I always forget about it. No, that, that's true. I I was trying to keep. I guess I don't need. I'm, I'm debating playing Elf Friend on Aragorn. Mm. The Tale of Tenuviel can go two ways if needed, but I don't think it's necessary right now. And then yeah, you can oh, put. I, I can put other stuff on Aragorn if I want to, but I, eh, I'm not going to. I'm going to pull Elven Light to my hand. Dollar, I'll draw a card. Cool. Third Silver Harp. <laughs> awesome stuff. And then I will play an Honored Guard for two. All good stuff. I'm also going to pitch Elven Light to ready Glorfindel and pull it back to my hand. All 
All right, we are in for 15 progress. That's pretty good. Mike, you've got yourself a little constant tail. Okay, that's nobody, right? Uh, then each spider me gets plus two threat. Yeah, we can handle that. Okay. All right, nice work. I've got me a little Bechlox Marauder. All right, oof. And Bob, you've got Orc Hunting Party. That is some art on that card. Wow. Heal each orc enemy and play a staging a shadow card. Each orc enemy gets minus 15 until the end of the round. If there are no orc enemies in the staging area, orc hunting party gains surge. That is awful. The good news is, is that the spies from Mordor are not orcs. Oh, they're not orcs. They yes, are orcs. yes, they are. They are. Um, they are. But they won't be coming down because we're going to be reducing our threat by a fair bit. True. We won by eight. Okay. We actually won by and, 12. And the other we won by 12. 12, eh? Yep, yeah, because those spies from Mordor are now 4. Love it. Okay, I'm down to 6. Catch up, guys. I'm at 21. Alright, so the spies are 25ers. Okay, so we're good there. You're right. Okay, All I right. I am going to play the Shire Folk. To reduce my threat by four. Remove that from the game, that. and then draw a card. Okay, so this I meet, I believe, puts Orc Hunter out of my grasp. You're talking about if we go to Streets of Tharbov? No, I mean with the Orc Hunting Party. Oh, okay, okay. Because he's now a 20. Oh yeah, because everything minus fifteen. Yeah, so that the Bellux Marauder is still coming down. Yep, that's okay. Yep. And I've got two range now. I can help. And I've got healing. Okay. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, six, nine for five. me. Brutal. Eight, nine for me. Okay, and I'm not gonna be okay. I'm gonna defend. Do you want to defend it? I'm gonna pitch my sailor of loon. Do it. Ah, yes, he does. He's doing Noldor shenanigans. Okay. You've got no shadow effects. Very dead. Okay. Going to. Alex Marauder. Nice. Then we will. Oh my gosh, we're one short. No, we're okay. I think we're okay. Uh, we're gonna. I don't. I've been waiting all game to do this. It's not the most optimal time, but it'll be fun. Well, hold no. on. If he goes in front of me, I can hit him for five. Well, you should have taken a character then. Well, yeah. You, I mean, if you want to still option something, you can. I'm, I'm um, fine with it. Yeah, I guess I would option. Take your uh, Connor. Hunter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is I'll, that all right? I'll wait. All right, thanks. I'll defend. Okay, that is a bounce. Oh, I need I need to lower my threat elimination level. I've been forgetting to do that. Daniel, lower your oh. threat elimination level by one. By one? Yeah. Yep. Also, I have two range um, for you, Daniel, if you want to just... Or do yep. you have another trick? I raised my threat up by one. Um, so I'll ready and grab two dollars. I'm going to pitch Elven Light. Um, when, you killed that, when you killed that guy, were you going to take a spy or no? Yes. So, yes, I'm taking a spy. Okay. I'm going to pitch Elven Light to Ready Glorfindel. Oh, I see. Then I'm going to play Taylor to Nuviel. Yep. With. I'm going to exhaust an Old character. I'm going to pay one from Kyrdan. Exhaust Glorfindel. To Ready 
Dunedain character, which is Aragorn, and Love this it. is the card for everyone. Yep. Yep. Uh, so he's a six attack. And he's, he's a six attack. He's an effect of seven because it's minus one defense, and Aragorn will swing and kill. Love it. Yep. Want to drag the other one to you now? <laughs> uh, Just for fun? You wouldn't be able to kill it. Well, we don't want him attacking. I can't kill it. I can't kill it. Yeah. And okay. We're trying to avoid his yep. forced effect, so. Then I will hit my guy for two, three. And I'll send four, five. Thanks. All right. Look at us. Nalir adds three threat to me. New round. Uh, actually, if we want, Mike, did you use Darafin? I missed that. I did. I shot uh, Daniel's guy. Did you need to use Darafin? To kill him, yes. To kill that guy, yes. Well, I could have... you, Yeah. If... I can if we want. I can pull the other spy. I'm sorry. I, I've been thinking through. I can pull the other spy. I can pitch a card to Reddy Glorfindel again. Oh, no, no. I already did that. I already did that yeah, in, well, the, yeah. in the combat phase. Never mind. So a couple it's things. Uh, we're down to two time. Um, please heal a damage off Kyrdan. I should. I would have done that at the end of the round. Thank you. Since I had a warden still standing. Okay. And Daniel draw an extra card for Bilbo. Jeez. All right. All right. I will tip the steward. That will pay for the cell swords that I forgot to pay for. But I could could have easily have afforded them. So. Oh, that goes away. Uh, and then I'll spend three for the guy we were talking about. There he is. E. So he's hitting for five. Oh, who said and this will... isn't a power deck? Look at that. Look at that oh. power on that table. I, no one, no one understands how good this deck is, but I'm always sad that it gets maligned so in public. Just despite Bomber, Grey Wanderer is so powerful, man. It's really beautiful. I mean, that's one way to look at it. <laughs> did you at least get to draw two cards for Biffer? Or did you not have five characters at that point? I did. Okay. I drew two cards. Good. Oh, okay. And in okay, fact, good. I'm going to draw one more right now for... Thank you. Ooh, my belt. Okay. I will not be playing my belt right now. Okay. All right. I'm going to do the Elven Light thing and draw a card. I am then going to... I'm going to play to the sea. I'm going to play to the sea to the sea. And I'm going to discard two elf friends plus a... Thon Sea Watcher. But you could have made Pippin an elf friend and then given money to me. <laughs> have. Counterpoint. Nope. So. <laughs> and then I'll pay two money to get a Guardian of Rivendell and play. Okay, that's pretty good. The and Guardian is, uh, I hear, a good character. Uh, I'm going to hang tight and play something in the quest phase, which is right now. So I'm going to play some smoke rings, reducing my threat by two. And he gets an additional, they get additional will, and I get to draw a card. Oops. So we are questing. Question. Seems pretty good. Is it enough? All right. Are we ready for cards? Let's do it. I've got Tharbed Hideout. Well, it's active. Okay, surging into the CDN. Oh. Okay. Uh, Bob, how would you like a little orc hunter? 
I would love an orc hunter. Reveal an additional counter card or remove one time count. Mm -hmm. I'm going to remove a time counter. I think we're going to progress. All right. Do you? <laughs> Mike, your card is orc hunting party. Oh, we're not going to. Shoot. Yeah, it's okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have shenanigans, Mike? Uh. Yeah, I'll. I'll... Otherwise, we reduce by thirteen. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the shenanigans. It's net neutral for me, so eventually I'm going to stop doing that. Okay. Uh, but yes, please reduce your threat by an additional two, for fatty. Okay. Can I go into the negatives? You cannot, I'm afraid. Sad. That, that progresses us, right? What was no, it? What we was all the... have to be zero. Oh. I'm three? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah, that's because Fatty's oh. uh, increasing my threat. Don't worry. I'm sorry. I, I'm not reading cards today. I didn't realize it was all players. It's so fine. It Our threat elimination will go down by ten. We'll live. We'll live, right? We'll be fine. Right? Right? Right. I mean, we could also just go to the Tharbad hideout and stall the effect out. That's really well, that's funny. True. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's do it. Why not? Because one of those encounter, one of those uh, shadow cards is going to be that, right? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. Oh, I shoot. Hey, we can take a spy now. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm going to take the spy. I will take him. I will take the hunter. Okay. They each get a few more of these, however. All right, I'm going to defend my guy with Nalir. Just kidding. I'll go for it. I got a, I got an honor guard up. Let's, let's, Plus uh, one. Let's get, He's let's hitting get... for four, which hits me for a, a wound. I am wounded. I'll, I'll, I'll honor guard it. That's all right. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, I got you. All right. Cheers, man. Uh, Daddy will reduce your threat elimination by one. Oof. All right, Guardian your defenses. Rindell. Now, I can Guardian defend this Rindell. guy for you if you want. Uh, We're good. I got healing on the board. It's yeah, I'll, I'll do the Guardian. It's fine. Get him, get him some action. Okay. Raise defending player's threat by X, where X is the amount of damage dealt by this attack, which we'll see what it is. It is three. Zero. So is that three or is it zero? That is three. It is three. Right? It's uh, if the whole delt thing. Well, what in is Marvel's it in? What is it in Marvel? Up. There's delt and then there's taken. But right? it's always slightly different, so I don't know what that yeah. means. Yeah. I'll just well, I'll grim rule it. I'll raise by three. I really don't know in this case at all. Okay, you guys because, can help, do you? Because okay. here, if we were playing Marvel Champions, the delt gets the the shield reduces delt damage. Thankfully, <laughs> we're uh, and so and so. In the, if this were Marvel, that would be zero threat. You know what? I think it is zero. I now that so. I read it, I think it's zero. No. All right, because it is dealt. I, I'm dropping Bob's threat down by three. Good for you. All right. Thank you. Um, you don't. Oh, you do have. You don't even need Darofin. I'm gonna raise my threat by one. They're ready up and take money. And then I'm just going to dwarf horde this guy in front of me. What a term. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you have yours taken care of just fine. Yeah. Yep. He gone. All right. Lovely. Okay. It is a new dawn, a new day. Nalir raises me by three. And Bilbo over there. gets Bob an additional card. You know what? The way I'm reading Bilbo, Bob, you draw three cards and choose one to discard. Yes. That is way better than... Quite nice. Yeah. Quite nice. I am going to... Play Elven Male for two on the Guardian of Rivendell. And I also healed up your spear again. 
Well, thank you. Now he's a sentinel, and he has two extra hit points. And then I will, for two, play another Silver Harp on Kyrdan. So he is jamming out. That is awesome. We're going to have then some... I'm oh, you're still going. You're still going. Pitch. Yeah, I'm going to pitch a test of will for a dollar <laughs> and keep it. Just to scare us. Good on you. Oh, well, I want the dollar to be able to play for it. Good on you. All right, so <laughs> I am playing old Toby, drawing two cards. Oh, I like this. Let's put a Hobbit pipe on Bilbo. This is all looking very good. Uh, Daniel, you're up. Do either of you need an attachment that is in your discard? Need? Uh, I would or totally even, have... Even... I'll take a good meal. I'd take a third silver harp. <laughs> <laughs> that seems excessive to me, but I'm not going to judge. Good meal is Gladrum's greeting. All right. Um, the Hammersmith is coming out, and Mike, he's gonna give you boom. Thank your you. Thing. Although oh, I can't, topmost. I can't put it on me yet. That's okay. Okay. And then I will spend two dollars more. Oh, I should have already to burning, to burning brand bomber. And I'm gonna. St Stay there. That'll be good. Great. Let's do this. Let's get out of here. Will 16 be enough? Eh, probably. I've got threat shenanigans if we need it. Okay. Uh, Bob, your card is cornered. Mm. Oh, wait. Beginning of the quest phase, the harbor, the hideout goes away. Yeah. All right. I'll remove a time counter. I think it matters at this point. All right. Well, there's also no enemies. Can't you choose that one? Uh, you can. It's going to affect everyone who comes out. Yeah. So can't you choose that? Mm, you can, can, but he's we're going. I'm, I'm reducing our threat. Let's let's live dangerously. All right. All right. We're back up to four time counters then. Okay, and we're down another ten, right? Down another ten. All right. Uh, Mike, your card is the decrepit rooftops. While it's active, enemies get plus one threat. Do not make engagement. Oh, that's interesting. All right, and. I've got get that dwarf. Uh, surges. No enemies, surges into cornered. <laughs> I'll remove a time. Good idea. Yeah. And uh, I think we're out. We are all at zero threat. Daniel, would you like to move us on? I would. I would like that. Bob, we got story. Bob, go ahead. You've eluded the orcs. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> you have eluded the orcs, and you make haste for the river crossing. If you can get across, perhaps you can escape. But Elak has cleverly set a patrol at the ford while he entertains a young Marion in his tent, <laughs> and you are quickly spotted. You make a dash for the river. One of the greatest scenes in movie history, by the way. That, that wine scene. scene is brilliant. Okay, yeah, Bella. Looks like he got melted into the. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's been drinking that wine all his life. All right, we shuffle this into there. And we Three get. Three magic shuffles. Then what? We get. We discard until enemy. Three times. Really? Oh. Oh, yep. Mercy. Because okay. we need X. X is the number of players in the game. 
That's how many orcs we get. All right. That's one. One. Two. two. Oh, bugger all. There we go. Are these one revealed, or does it not matter? No, they're all added. They're just added, right? Okay. All right. I'll flip the quest. Time three. All right. Raise each player's threat by three, or Belloc makes an immediate attack against Nalir whenever that time goes off. Progress that would be placed on this quest are instead placed on the crossing of Tharbad, because I believe we cannot actually get... We cannot actually get to the crossing. Yeah, cannot leave the staging area. And we don't want to chump block or we raise our threat by two. Let's see. Orc can creature enemies get minus 30 engagement costs and plus one threat. And you said the crossing of Tharbad is really 30, right? It is 30. Okay. All right, who wants to live dangerously? Uh, in what regard? Travel, right? Oh, yeah, we, we can try. Yeah, we get to travel. Where are you going, Bob? If we really want to live dangerously, we go to the streets of Tharbad. Uh, I mean, we can. Right? It's not going to do anything. I think. Uh, no, the enemies would then have, all have zero engagement cost, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, they totally would. Uh, except Belloc. Except Belloc, yeah. I just, I don't think we should travel this turn. Unless you want to take all three. CD, CDN is the best option, but if we're going to try and clean up some enemies this turn... We okay. Just, we don't travel. Alright, we're going to do things the, the safe and secure well, way. <laughs> can't we go to the rooftops and drag them down as we want them? I guess they don't make engagement checks, but we can still engage we them. We can still engage them. Yes. Yeah, let's, let's do that. A great idea. Right. Thank you. Who, who would you like? One of them? Just wish we could get around that forest on the skirmishers. Yeah, uh, we have a, a whole swarm of very fat dwarves to take that damage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'll take, uh, I'll, we have I'll take one a... dwarf who can take that damage. One of them who can take it, they'll just die. I'll, I'll take a, I'll take a skirmisher. All right. As will I. All right. And I will take the damage. I will take the damage. I will take the damage. Mike, would you mind wardening us though that just did that before fighting starts? Uh, I can't. Sure. Preach. Thank you. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll honor guard one of your damage, Daniel. You oh. sure? I got you. Okay. Um, do you want me to do all the defending, or do you have it? Oh, you have your nice I, guardian. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll defend once with the guardian. All right, go ahead. That's probably a bounce. Maybe. Yes, sir. Is it a bounce? No, he's hitting for four. Yes. Uh, no, he hits me for one. All right. All right, my guy, uh, Bomber, will defend this. He's getting hit for one. One. Okay. I will trigger this, get money, and heal. Oh. And attack backs. I am going to swing with Aragorn and the Sea Watcher to kill the Skirmish and, and Nalir. I have to use Nalir as well to kill the Skirmisher because I don't have an ally on the top of my deck. Oh yeah, you still got it. No, I have a... I have oh. a yeah, yeah. I, so I kill the Skirmisher. Okay. And then I will pull the Hunter. Oh, you don't even nice. need me. Nope. And kill it with Glorfindel. Wow. Oh my goodness! And I will dwarf horde my guy. So just so you're aware, and folks watching, you can kill Belloc, but he just gets shuffled into the encounter deck, which is looking well. It's it's reshuffled, so it's not that small. Yeah, we could. You want to take him down with you? I'm good, thanks. I, no, I Bob. Can't. You want to draw him? I couldn't. I only attacked with Aragorn once. 
Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Before we do anything else, I'm going... Oh, no, I can't. I can't play this card. It wouldn't actually work. Yeah. Never mind. I'm going to pull an Elven Light back to my hand to draw a card. All right. Okay. Raise your threat by three, Bob. Just do a quick... Oh, refresh. we each got attacked, right, Bob? So we... Uh, yep. Oh, yeah, I got attacked. Threat by one. Yeah. And Elliot passes to Mike. Shift in. I get an I extra paid, card. Oh, this is I all two very words. good stuff. Let's get another pipe out. Look at the top five cards in my deck. For an event, it's going to be smoke rings. Who needs a test of will? Nobody. Exactly. I right. remove a time count off the quest. Oh yes. Oh, thank you. Uh that is me. I'm going to save up. It's you? Okay. Yeah. I'll go I will spend later. a dollar to put another resourceful on me. Um, I'll spend Gondor to put on my belt. Well, Narby's belt, I should say. Um, I'm going to throw another well-equipped out there, see what we get. We get... Oh! oh. Pick another resourceful. Oh <laughs> this guy. Um... Eight some resource was... swing on those two well equips. My goodness, nice pulls. Thank you. Yeah. Um. And I, I'm weirdly concerned about the conspicuous lot card that keeps coming up. Um. So I think I'm going to. I'm going to put in one more dwarf, guys. Another one of these cats that I can then ready up dwarves. All right. And he'll draw me a card for Legacy of Durin. All right. I ended up putting an additional Protector of Lorien out just for kicks. I don't know, those aren't kicks. <clears throat> Ooh, a volley. Do you have to put them on your guys? No. Okay. I don't, That's but you, you don't have a big hand. So I'm going to pitch and draw Elven Light. Actually, my third Skyward Volley. I have one in my discard right now. That's really funny. Done. Oh, that's why I have Elf Friend in my deck, so I can give a resource to Aragorn for my resource smoothing. That's why. Okay. You can give it from Arwen anyways. Oh, I still can do that anyway. Ugh. That's her special ability. I don't know why you have mm. Elfriend, because Kent doesn't tail its new veal work both ways anyways. It does, it does yeah. I think it was for Elven Spear. I could ditch, oh. ditch cards to lose back. But that's kind of a dumb plan. I don't know why I did that plan. I think I got nothing. Nothing good to do. I think I'll play a Guardian of Rivendell for effective one and exhaust both harps. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping Test of Will and another Skyward Volley. Cool. I am going in the quest phase. I'm going to do some smoke ringing. Okay. All very good stuff. Are we ready to quest? We are ready to quest. I'm going to pull Elven Light back to my... Draw another card. Oh, I'm not going to do that. Why am I doing that? 
and I don't have a resource to play test of will. Why are we only making three pro okay. Bot hadn't come yet. <laughs> I should have uh reduced my threat, hey. Uh, we're only making 13 for now there's shenanigans okay. lots of shenanigans just feel like we started making less okay here we go hmm. Mike you've drawn Streets of Thorbat okay okay um what happens at the time Gunner oh, okay we just get attacked from Belloc all right, I'll take that. Oh, Sergi, Sergi, where did he where did he come from? All right, and a Tharbad hideout, which will surge into this one. Oof, city locations that's get actually, plus one threat. That's actually kind of bad. That is not a good pull. Okay, time. We, we to... lost by one. No, we didn't. Okay, so first off, raising my threat by four. To, in fact, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just let's just reduce Belloc. Okay. And then I'm gonna go one, two, three, pitching to Bilbo. So I'll just add three willpower to myself. Okay. That gets us out of the rooftops. And then three progress on crossings of Tharbad. Three and crossing. Okay. And Mike, would you like to travel? We have got to get to that ruins of the second age. Okay. Whew. Um That was rough. Taking some monsters. I can take that orc hound. Can you kill him? Probably. No. Probably? No. <laughs> Uh, sure you can. Darifin and Nalir can do it. Well, I have to exhaust a character I control. Yeah, why not the uh, warden? So who's defending this? Oh, Bomberkin. All right, let's do that. All right, I'm happy to take. Hell, I was gonna take Belloc this turn, but maybe now, not now that he has multiple shadow cards. Did we give us one threat to each orc and creature, the orc hunter and the orc hound, for Belloc's effect? I thought we, I thought we did. Maybe we didn't. I don't know if so Daniel. We, we'd only make one progress on the crossing. I don't think we did. Okay, so we're down to one. Okay. Um, who do you want, Bob? I mean, I can kill. I can kill the hunter, or if I get. Arafin's attack, I can kill Belloc. I'm, can I kill Belloc without... So I've got the Erebor, oh, five... Yeah, you got some damage on you, yeah. You got five, six... I'll wake up my two self swords for ten. Oof, I'll be short. Because Bomber's going to have to defend two attacks. I'd be short one. Bomber, Bomber only has to... Oh, he has to defend Belloc as well. Shoot. Yeah. Um... I can take the Orc Hound, then, if that's the case. Well, let me take Belloc anyway. Because... Take the Orc Hound, I can kill the Orc Hunter. Okay, let's do that. Then the okay. Warden readies. Okay. I'll take Belloc. If I'm only making one defense, I can kill him. Anyway... They get one. Oh, he's not an orc, is he? All right. So the shadow cards are like this because of the rune. Oh, all enemies. Okay. All right. I'll defend. All right. That is um, two damage to Bomber. Do you need me defending that dog? 
I mean, I, I wouldn't say no to it if you if you have it available. Then I then I just can't kill no, Belloc. Oh, no, 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 kill kill Belloc. Way more important, kill Belloc. Okay. Defending the dog. Plus one. Plus two. Ooh. Plus two. He's hitting for four damage. All right, I'm going to heal up uh, Bomber and the Guardian. You. Okay. Uh, Reduce my threat elimination level. Yeah. Uh, Darifin, are you coming to me, right? Uh, you reduce your threat elimination level as well, Daniel. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah. Raise my threat by one. To, actually, I don't need you if you don't. Want to. I'm just gonna, because then I'm gonna spend two dollars to exhaust these guys to wake up cell swords, and I have enough on my own to kill Belloc. Okay. Um, I do believe if your arrows are needed over with Bob. So Aragorn swings and kills the hound. I pull the hunter. Uh, one, two with the guardian. Three with the sea watcher. Minus one from Aragorn kills it. And Deerfin picks his nose. He also ran. So good job, Deerfin. Nothing wrong with picking your nose. Nothing. Okay. We were talking about it before the show. Yep. <laughs> Uh, who's got an earlier? Mike, you up by three? Uh, yes, I am up by an additional. And I will take three. All right, let's do and this. And I get a card from Bilbo, right? You get a card from Bilbo. All right. Do either of you guys have attachments that you'd love, to, love, love to play? Uh, I have another good meal. <laughs> um. In this case, play them to be reduced by two. Oh, no, no. Okay. How about you, Bob? I'm good. Thank you for asking, though. All right. Well, why bring a Tor Maker then? Oh, I owe two for the Cell Swords. Yeah, I suppose. Uh... I will play him. I will tap the belt and bring out another axe hand. Oops, sorry. All right, we got doors aplenty. And I will legacy of Durin. Oh, day runs runes. Go ahead. I'm probably not going to play anything else, Bob, if you want to go. That is a whole lot of dwarves. <laughs> I I Ooh. pulled a card with Elven Light and then pulled it towards the Eldar and I pitched it into my discard pile for a dollar. And then I am going to play Oron's Council during questing. Okay. Other than that, I am standing back. I'm going to kick a good meal for old Toby, which is draw one for each pipe you control, which I believe now is four. Ace. Ooh, another hobbit pipe. Well, guess what we're doing. Yep, this is all very good stuff. I think I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and play Gandalf to draw three cards. I just drew into two more Gandalfs. Nice. I do have one more card to play, actually. I'm going to spend $4. And make Darifin a hero. That is funny. <laughs> uh, okay, Darifin is now a hero. Rise, uh, Darifin. I will also hero of the realm. play Shirefolk. <laughs> and then draw three cards. Is it that or Glorfindel? And I'd... Glorfindel's already been a hero all his life. Wait. Did you just play Shire Folk? Yeah. You you can't. Oh my Daniel. <laughs> Alright, Shire Folk is back in my hand. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. I got a way to get rid of this jackass. <laughs> oh, that's 
so funny. Well, you're gonna kill Darafin? Oh yeah. Hey, as soon as he uses his action. I just use his action, and he goes from the game. Then I can he play Sharp Oh wow! You realize that if we don't get out of here, it's because I wasn't able to play Sharp Oak, right? <laughs> well, I noticed you didn't say anything other than that's so funny when I put it on. I could have moved him. Please move it. <laughs> All right. Take it, Glorfindel. Oh, thank you. That is quite nice, actually. All right. So we are doing Sharp Oak because. Uh... Wow. That was funny, though. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. Uh, okay, that's lots of cool things I can do with this. All right, that is... That is I. Time to quest? It is time to quest. Uh, Darafin's going because you don't need his attack anymore. Sixteen? Was that before Bob? Yeah. Uh, hang on. Uh, sorry, something's wrong is happening. I keep trying to exhaust Darwin, but I didn't. It's... Okay. There we go. Much better. So we are progressing 19 at this point. And right? I'm getting rid of three to bump Bilbo's by three. Okay. Uh, my card. Ugh. Hmm. I can I can cancel that. What do I go up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven threat. I could cancel that if you want. I would. I like the cancel just to get rid of the surge. All right. Well, okay. It can never happen. Uh, Bellox Marauder for you, Bob and Mike. You've got a spy. Okay, so I'm gonna raise my threat by three. Okay. To drop him by three. All right. So that is currently twenty, 20. progress. That's not enough. So. F Five and then fifteen more on the crossing. Dang. Yeah, we're getting there. It's all right. We're getting there. Okay. How do you, how do you eat a whale one bite at a time? Yeah, yeah. getting there. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Uh, if we go to somewhere, oh, sorry, Tharpat Highbout should not be here. It goes away. We made an additional progress. Additional one? Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, well, yeah, because it just goes away whether it's active or not. Yeah. Okay. I think we go uh, to one of the streets because I've got a West Road Traveler to get to a seat. Yeah. Area. I think the streets make sense. And it doesn't matter if their engagement's yeah. lower. Yeah, we're all pretty low. Um, can you murder both Bellox and the spy? I can Bob. murder Bellox. I don't think I can kill the spy. Okay. Well, maybe. We'll see. Then you want to just each take one and finish Three, them four, off? Six, seven, eight, nine, two, three. Um. Uh, no, I, I can't. I can't kill both. Darn. All right, who do you want to kill? Heard a, I'll just take the the Bellox, Bellox Marauder. Fine. Okay. I'll take the spy. Do we worry about the time coming down? Uh, guys, the guys oh, guys, not around. Bellox Marauder should be the first attacker. Why is that? We just cut oh, this card. Yeah. After time counter is removed from the current quest, oh, okay. deal him two shadow cards. You want to reverse those two, if possible. Okay. But sorry, Darifin's right. not Darifin's not working today. All right. Uh, Bomber will defend. All right. He'll take two damage. I'm gonna I'll heal. One for you. 
And I'll heal Not one and heal the Guardian. Because I do heal three when I ready up, but I guess if I can just take money, but that's better. All right. Okay, defending with the Guardian. Make an additional attack. Ah, uh, bugger. All right, defending with the Guardian, but he removes another time counter when he does that. Oh, well, we lost one. Yep, so we all raise oh. our threat by three. Boom, 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 and then another one, right? And I'll defend with the other guardian. Okay. Gets plus two. So five attack. Takes two damage. All right. I will ready this to ready me and take two dollars. Raise my threat. All right. Wow. Okay. So I will kill my guy. Hold on, I have to do another attack from Bellax Marauder, don't I? Nope. No, he already passed. That's he already right. attacked, but he still gets the shadow cards. Okay. I will send this dwarf horde at him and kill him. Okay. Everybody Back from Mordor is dead. Is dead. Uh, Bob and I each reduce our threat thing by one, if we didn't already. Oh yes, thank you, thank you for the. I, I mine is two. Yeah. I got double attack. Uh, I pay my cell swords. Daniel raises his threat by an additional three for Nilir. And where is Nilir? Where did I put that guy? Oh, there he is. Hey, I'm going to Elven Light. Oop. Elven Light. Rock card. What are you? Oh, Daron's roots. I I am stalled out. Can't do anything. It's exciting. exciting, but I do have a test of will. I'm. I'm going to play smoke and think, and play Gandalf for free to draw three cards. Woo! -hoo! This is all really great stuff. So I am. I'm actually going to play the Shire Folk first. Reduce my threat by four. Draw three cards. Oh my gosh. There's so much stupid stuff I could do now. Uh, yeah, we're good. We're good, people. Good? All right. I'll spend $3 to bring Glowin in and give Glorfindel $2. Oh, you wanted me to do oh. to do this as well. The, the Westward Traveler shenanigans. Let's do that. So I'll just remove some. Oh, thank you. All right. Great move. All right. Oh, uh, thank you. Before, thank you for the two dollars. Yeah. Before I'm done, I'm going to try to well equip a dwarf. Let's see what happens. Look at that. I will put Armor of Erebor on... Nilir. You know what? Yeah. Where is he? Where's that little guy? Right. Give that fellow an extra shield. All right. right we can quest uh, let's, so let's finish it out. I think we could do it. Yep. Okay, I'm ditching the hub, the good meal for smoke rings. One, one, two, three, four, five, what the heck, six. Boom. Ow. You are doing well. These hobbits. You might have enough here. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to send Fatty, and uh, we're going to send... Uh, Galdrum's Greetings, Test of Will for an extra two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. 
Bob, your card is constant tail. Turn all engaged enemies. First player either moves a time. Or... Okay. I think that has oh. to be time. Yeah. Yeah. Has to be time. All right. We just remove yeah. a time counter. Cool. Mike, you got a hidden alleyway. And I got Belloc. It's good that he's here at the end of all things. Oops. Okay. We make. 38 progress. I'll pitch Gandalf as well then. We're going to make we did it. We're making another one. There we go. There you have nice. it, folks. Huh. We did it with both challenges. <laughs> so that was It's a Big Crossing and Troubler in Tharbad. <laughs> wow. Great name. Yeah. Uh, not as bad as I thought it would be. Threat elimination was not at all an issue. After no, I don't think so. The first time counter, I think we were fine. Well, you were down to 22. Yeah, it was, it was, I mean, a couple more rounds and maybe it might have been a little, uh, a little spooky. <laughs> I guess with all that conspicuous stuff, then it would start to hurt. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like the design. It was running really well. Our, our decks did pretty well. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> I like I'm playing this deck surprised. when it doesn't matter. Oh, you're dude, everyone's decks kind of rolled. Yeah, once they got there. Yeah. Yeah. They're funny. All right. Well, there you have it. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bob, for coming on. It's great to see you again, Thank as you always. Me. It's, it's always a pleasure, and I'm I'm glad you, you. Uh, I'm glad you and the people you played with at the con were uh, liked the the prank. Oh, it was it was delightful. It, it's <laughs> it's an honor to be thought of uh, even in in being pranked. So it was a lot of fun. <laughs> that was Absolutely a highlight of the con. Wonderful, Daniel. Pleasure as always. As always, sir, thank you so much. And we are, of course, back next week. I should probably start planning that, hey? And yeah, sure. thank you to everyone in chat and watching after we're done recording. We will catch you all next week for... Oh, oh yes, this one is planned. We're going into the swamp. Ooh, gah. Yep. All right, catch you next week, folks. Good night, all. Bye. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs>